If fashion seasons seem like chapters in a never-ending story, it's only logical that as time passes, genres come and go too. Not long ago, the narrative was all about aspirational high glamour, but those days are long gone. For next winter's 2019-2020 offerings, it's dystopia's turn to shine. Indian designer Manisha Rora chose to draw on one particularly grungy figure from contemporary mythology. It was a happy Mad Max. <laughs> the idea was of doing, uh, thinking of a woman who is very adventurous and who doesn't care about looking just chic. She wants to be herself and no matter what people say about her. And that, that was the kind of character I had in mind. A happy Mad Max. Aurora has always embraced paradox. Bonjour, darling. Bonjour. Hello, hello, hello. At the Franco-American Rick Owens, the real show is taking place before the catwalk's even begun. Fashion aficionados are here to show their appreciation for the veteran avant-garde designer, but also to show off their own daring sartorial credentials. Salvia, a makeup artist, worked with Owens to come up with the collection's narrative. It's very, like, futuristic desert people, but like aliens. Prove that sartorial dystopias certainly don't have to be dull. The recurrence is everything, isn't it? It's great, fabulous, fantastic. New Yorker Tom Brown loves seizing on historical figures. This time it's the enigmatic figure of Lady Truebridge. The talented feminist Brit was a sculptress as well as a translator of the works of Colette. Tom is the past, the present, and the future. I love the, the diversity in women, so many types of women, which is a reflection of the world, so beautiful. It's less Mad Max than it is Mad Men, the cult TV show about a 1960s New York ad agency that charts the social upheavals of its time. Progress and sexiness aren't mutually exclusive. Independent, Freda, and the sexy. Talking of sexy, it's important to remember it's a highly subjective term. Fashion at its best engages with all aspects of society, embracing multiple viewpoints and sources of inspiration. It's like more modern and it's very like cool and nice because like we're Muslim girls, so we always have to be covered. So it's more easy to just buy, you know, like dresses and, you know, high neck tops and everything. But of course, like, for us, it's a religion, like in, uh, for religious reasons, yeah. not like fashion. So we have to like separate those two, and it's all good. Finnish designer Tuomas Merikoski is the creator of this so-called modest collection. He's not a fan of speaking to the press. Instead, he lets his models speak for him. I'm Senegalese, and I want to say hi to my family in Dakar. Love. Another designer determined to make us ask questions about who we are and where we come from is the Chinese Masha Ma. Relying heavily on tropes from science fiction, her collections demand you sit up and take notice. Last season we had Annihilation, and this season is a film called Under the Skin, that is alienated alien, that she is having a human skin and trying to survive through the human society, which I found it very relatively to nowadays woman situation in a society. Masha Ma is also interested by the urbanization of Chinese society and the pollution it leaves in its wake. We have this parka this season that we extracted from the ocean, uh, the bottles, plastic bottles. So we took it from the ocean and so we recycling them and made them into fabric. And we can't talk about fashion as environmentalism without mentioning veteran designer and activist Vivian Westwood. For her, dystopian films are set to become our new reality unless we act now. She was one of the last people to revolutionise the planet with punk, with Malcolm McLaren. And now she is changing the world and helping save the planet. And that's what makes her so amazing. Westwood no longer designs her own clothes. She leaves that to her husband. I believe in women a lot at the moment because the men are making a terrible mess of it all. And the men are lying and lying and lying. And women tend to lie less. I think. So I think, you know, let's put our future in the hands of women. 
finally to the heart of the French capital. Isabelle Marant is revealing her latest work at the fountains of the Jardin du Palais Royal. Isabelle Marant, she represents French women, sexy and cool at the same time. She feels good in her own skin. Isabelle Marant is also a fan of well-crafted stories, although she veers more towards Michelangelo Antonioni than Ridley Scott or George Miller. It's inspired by a female reporter who's traveled the world. She's brought images, colors, cultures back with her. And all that has shaped her. I really like thinking of clothes as a way of saying what you have to say. Amazing, I love Isabel and she's the best. Thank you. And what to add. After all, when it comes to fashion, every story has a happy ending.